How about some homecoming stories? 1988 homecoming. One of the things I remember from that is one of the days during uh, homecoming week, I'm walking down the north hallway just checking things out, supervising at lunchtime, and I look through the ag shop doors out to the teacher's parking lot, and there's a large group of kids gathered out there, and I said, "Uh uh-oh. Some, we got problems because anytime there's a large group of kids gathered when I was at my school before, we had a fight. So I go running out there, and when I get out there, I look around, and they're holding a big rope. It's homecoming week. It's going to be a tug of the war con- contest, and they're getting ready for that. Well, that made me feel good that I didn't have to deal with a fight. As a matter of fact, there weren't too many fights when I was at Tuscola High School. Another one was the outhouse. Everybody's heard about the outhouse. Well, I, I hadn't. And I was looking forward, it was Thursday night, and I was looking forward to have a little rest. That was one of the nights we didn't have any homecoming activities scheduled for that night. And I'm sitting at home, and I get a phone call from one of my teachers. She said, do you know there's an outhouse in your north parking lot? I said, no, I don't. She said, you know what they do with that outhouse? I said, no, I don't. She says, I think they'll probably burn it. I said, well, maybe I better get over to school. So I got over to school, and I was thinking about on the way over there, well, what did the police think about this, or what does the fire department think about this? Well, I got there, and the police were parked in the uh, parking lot across from the school, and the fire chief was there and asked me if everything was okay. So I thought, yeah, I think everything's okay. So they they burnt the outhouse, and uh, it, it it was an event, I'll tell you. One of the things that we, outhouse burning went on for a couple years after that. Uh, we, we were able to burn them in the north parking lot because that was an oil and chip parking lot. It wasn't asphalt like it is today. So we were able to do that without having some problems with the uh, parking lot actually bubbling up. Fuel for the fire, how do you how do you start a fire for outhouse? Well, hopefully you use kerosene. Well, one year I looked out there and this guy had a red can and he was throwing, throwing it from the can onto the fire. And I go, that's all of that we're gonna do. So we took that can away from that poor guy and went from there. I got a phone call Friday of that week, and they said, uh, I want my outhouse back. Well, the senior boys had brought an outhouse in um, later in the evening after we were done burning the outhouse, and it was sitting in the north parking lot. So I went, I called some senior boys down. I said, hey, come lunchtime today. Go get that outhouse and take it back to the uh, farmer that wants it back. And they did. The funny thing about that is, and, and it, it went on for years, was that outhouse was put in their implement shed after that so they wouldn't be able to get, get to it. And that's where it stayed. Probably in my whole my whole career here in Tuscola, it stayed in that implement shed. And finally they called and said, could you have somebody come and get this outhouse and get it out of here and we'll bur- let them burn it because it's just nothing but in the way. One other thing that went on during homecoming week was the assembly where we, we had the taffy apple eating competition. This competition was all set up. We got one student from each class, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, and one teacher. We asked these people to be in the taffy apple eating contest, and they said they would. During the assembly, we asked them to leave the gymnasium and go out in the front hallway by the office because we had to do something first, and then we'd call them back in when we're ready. Well, the reason we asked them to leave is this was a setup. Sitting on this table were five what looked like taffy apples. Only the one that was lined up with a senior boy was an onion, not a caramel apple. So we got him all ready to go, and this kid was a competitor. He would compete at anything and love to do it. And we said, okay, you can't use your hands, you just gotta get down there with your face and bite the, bite the apple. Well, he gets down there and he makes the biggest mouth you can believe, and he just chomps down on that onion. And when he did that, you ought to seen his face. We got him. The whole place went up for grabs because everybody knew it was gonna happen. So we, we got that guy, and he was a competitor, and he was a competitor that day.